Hey everybody, it's John here from VideoGameAct.com. Here we are today back in Goat Simulator, more Goat's Edition, grabbing the Goat Amendment achievement. This is to craft all of the weapons in one game. This is done in Goat Z after Outbreak. You want to have these mutators, Double Jump, Inventory, Casual, No Hunger, and the Wheel of Time. Now you unlock the Wheel of Time in the MMO map. I already have a video up on that in case you need help, but I recommend unlocking it because it helps out with the zombie map because you can freeze time which will freeze the day cycle, therefore no zombies. Alright, so the first thing we need are ingredients. So the first thing we're going to need is a bag of flour. It's going to be behind the developer house. And thanks to the inventory perk, you can lick it and then hit left bumper to stash it away in your inventory. Therefore you can carry more than one item at once and you don't have to drag it around, leaving it to uh, get stuck on stuff. So the second thing we are going to need is a mouse trap. You can find that in the police station. It's going to be right behind you. Um, and it's going to be off to the left once you jump the barricade. So grab that, put it in your inventory, and I'm going to be showing you this one item at a time just for the sake of simplicity, but of course you can do this way faster by gathering all the items and then just bringing them all back to the garage. So the garage is going to the left of the spawn point. All you have to do is just open up your inventory over the crafting square and then hit a, the uh, A button over it and just drop them off at the pad and they should combine so there we go got our first item the second item is going to be a gumball machine and a beer hose the gumball machine can be found in the garage and the beer hose can be found in the backyard of the crafting house the problem with the beer hose is you can't stash it in your inventory so you're gonna have to unfreeze time if you have time frozen and you have to drag it by licking up the X button and dragging it to the garage. So make sure you drag it to the garage and then open up your inventory and drop the gumball machine on top of it. And you should get our second item which is the gum shot. Alright, third item. We are going to uh, leave the garage and then head this way. We're going to go to the uh, mall right here which is across the street from the spawn area. And then you want to look to the first store on your left which is going to be a coffee store and in here you want to make sure you grab the birthday cake which is going to be on the shelf right here and we're going to stash that in our inventory and uh, then we can uh, leave and uh, go over here out the front door and now you want to uh, take a left and we're going to head to the uh, uh, TV studio which is going to be over here so just follow this road and once you end up up here make sure you um, head to the right and in this studio you want to go to the uh, director's office which is all the way in the back and on the couch will be a uh, stick doll you want to pick that up and put it in your inventory and then we're going to carry this all the way back to the garage there are multiple garages on the map but I'm going to be showing you the uh, first garage just for a point of reference so you don't get lost because it's very easy to get lost in this game if you are just starting out so um, this is a noob friendly video so uh, put these two items on the pad and craft them together to make yourself a heartbreaker which is going to be a uh, bow and arrow like item and uh, what you want to do is you want to go back to the developer's house and this time we're going to go inside you want to head up to the second floor up here you are going to find a radio so it's going to be right here just uh, ram this little table right here and then just grab it stash it in, in your inventory and uh, then we're going to head back downstairs and um, leave. So go out here and uh, then you want to take a left and we're going to head to the circus and take a right and you want to head to the fortune telling tent and grab a crystal ball. Luckily for us the fortune teller has just an infinite supply of them right here. And we're going to grab that and we're going to head all the way back to the garage. So uh, here we go. Let's jump the barrier and then head into the crafting place and craft these two together to get the uh, mind control unit. There we go. And then we are going to grab the uh, broken minigun off of the workbench right here. And then what you want to do is you want to leave the house and then we're going to head in this direction and we're going to head to the uh, super tribal voodoo island. So we want to go back to the farm area, so just follow the road down until you get to see the um, the barn. And uh, you want to jump the fence, and you want to jump into the giant gaping hole. And then you want to unfreeze time, because you can't travel to another area when time is frozen. So uh, you can re-freeze time once you spawn here, and just jump up and up and up. Once you get up here, go to the uh, giant pot we tossed the uh, dudes in to get that achievement. 
And up here you want to look for a green beaker or flask or whatever chemical holding device it's called. So grab this, stash it in your inventory, and now you want to jump across the water to get back to the mainland. And head all the way back to the garage. And uh, this is going to be the last item, I believe. So uh, you can also uh, use the crafting place, which is at the barn, which is going to be in the house off to the left of that pumpkin right there. So in case you uh, know what you're doing. But uh, this is going to help everyone else who's uh, getting lost. So we're going to head all the way back to the main area for uh, that reason. And we're just going to pop these two on the crafting table. And there we go. Got the relaxer, the final item, and the achievement for a 30 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.